Now, whenever it comes to Minecraft Bedrock shaders, they definitely do look really cool. However, there are some underlying issues for whenever you're using these. So today, we're going to go over some of the issues that Minecraft shaders for Bedrock have currently right now. And to begin with one of the major things, it's going to be with ores. So let's take a look at the ores. So this is something a lot of creators can create. They have the ability of making blocks glow. But as time goes, then you go like really far away. Then you go like really far away. You can still see the glow of the ores. So you see it's way over there, right over by the cursor. And the further away you go, look, you can still see it. And it gets potentially worse at night because you can see the ores glowing when you're way above the water. And even if you look at the extreme hills biome, it looks extremely bright. Like, why does it need to be glowing when you're super far away? Like, I think there should be an option that you can turn on when you're making these packs that tell you how far you can see the lights from. Because right now, it can get very distracting. Even when you're in spectator mode and you're flying around, you see nothing but bright ore lights. And look down. And what is that? We actually found an ancient city. This is actually pretty cool. You can see my point. The lights are just so bright that it's just kind of hard to ignore them. You just notice it straight away. And there's even a big get you with lighting in the daytime. When you're inside the caves, they're all lit up as if you're on the surface. I mean, I get it. The shaders, they are currently in beta, but this should have been something that they ironed out on day one. But this is going to be one of the things that they definitely are going to fix as time does go on. Then the next underlining issue is going to be dimensions. So of course, as I mentioned, this is still an early beta, so there's going to be some issues. But one of the major issues that I would love to be fixed in the next beta is going to be dimensional lighting. So if you're in your world, of course, you can change the shadows and you can change the lighting. But whenever it comes to the nether or the end, you can cannot do that. So the nether or the end, they're going to look extremely dark. But unless the texture pack you're using changes the lava or fire to be brighter. But without those changes, then it's going to be extremely dark. And especially if you go over to the end islands, you can just tell how dark it is. And then we have ourselves the nether. And it can also be quite dark in here as well. Especially if the texture pack you're using, especially if the texture pack you're using doesn't make the lava brighter or the fire brighter. You're really going to notice it. But however, if you are using a research pack that does change the lighting, then it can look rather blinding. I mean, just take a look at this. Look, the lava is extremely bright, and you can see all the glowstone and ores everywhere. It is very, very distracting, and it can definitely give you a headache if you look too long. And finally, the final issue that those the shaders is going to be when you're underwater. So watch this. Once you get into the water, then you cannot see a thing at all. Like this is absolutely annoying because when I go underneath the water, I don't want to see complete nothingness. I want to be able to see something. And even if you were to change the render distance, you still cannot see very far. But also go back to the lighting glitch. Yeah, that glitch definitely needs to be fixed. And as of right now, that's basically it for all the issues I've noticed so far with shaders. But if you've noticed any issues, then go ahead and put them down below in the comments. But if you guys thought this video was interesting, then please do consider leaving a like on today's video. Subscribe if you're around here. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload. But for now, hope you have a logical day. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye.